We have a video of a tornado in Sublet. Let's pull that up and I'll get the radar data to, to go along with it. Oh yeah, you can see. Okay, so we're definitely seeing here that lowering of the cloud base. What I can't see super clearly um, looks to be the debris down on the ground, but either way, that was actually part of that uh, likely confirmed tornado that we were seeing moving into that portion of the area not too long ago. Again, Sublet, that was over, uh, this was probably about an hour ago that we had that come in. That's a really incredible video, all the hail coming along with that too, the lightning. So unfortunately, this is what a lot of us are going through tonight. We've had multiple confirmed tornadoes uh, that have been moving through portions of northeastern Illinois. And again, that video was coming to us uh, from previously tonight. Right now, we still have our confirmed tornado warning that is moving out of Kane County and into portions of DuPage County. But right along the leading edge of all of this, these storms, if I zoom in, you'll see kind of how jagged it is. That's what we don't want to see when it comes to these severe thunderstorms, because just that little bit of jagged uh, edge there kind of gives these little notches that begin to develop. It gets those winds swirling a little bit. And if you look at the rotation all along that area of storms is where we're seeing the best signs of rotation. So previously, we did have that confirmed tornado that was moving through portions of Kane County. That part of the storm, the strongest part of the storm that is now in, it looks like, uh, DuPage County right along Route 59. So if we take this, stretch it to the east northeast, it's moving at about 30 miles per hour at the fastest. You can see in Bloomingdale, this area of rotation. So again, this is what was previously giving us that confirmed tornado that was on the ground in portions of Kane County. Now it's moving into uh, DuPage County. There are some arrival times for you. Itasca in about 19 minutes, Addison 20 minutes, Wooddale 21 minutes, Elk Grove Village 23 minutes, Bensonville 25 minutes, Elmhurst about 25 minutes. Now let's look at the debris. So I'm not really seeing any signs, any strong signs that are really kind of leaping out to me within that tornado warning over the last, looks like 10 minutes or so. So as of now, uh, this is not a confirmed tornado that's moving into DuPage County. It is just uh, a tornado warning because of those signs of rotation. So the confirmed tornado that was previously on the ground over in Kane County, it does appear like it has lifted. So big picture here, it's not everywhere that we're seeing these really strong storms moving through. It's mainly across now uh, the west suburbs, the northwest suburbs. We have heavy rain. We have hail potential too. We've actually had reports. I believe Tim was just mentioning not too long ago that we actually had a report of baseball sized hail. So the environment that we're dealing with here with these storms uh, is conducive to really large hail. Of course, if you park your car outdoors, you're in the west suburbs, the northwest suburbs. If you have the opportunity to bring your car indoors, that's obviously going to be your best option because this, this is likely going going to be causing some damage in addition, of course, to uh, that tornado threat. So the best rotation right now seems to be uh, just east of Elgin and moving toward the east. So let's zoom in, get a check of that part of the tornado warning. Again, for those of you in Elgin, you do have a tornado warning that is in effect at this point. Uh, you can see torrential downpours with this too. I want to turn off the radar so you can see the boundaries of that warning. It extends all the way over into northwestern Cook County and then into the southwestern sections of Lake County. So turning the radar back on getting a check of our storm relative velocity. Here's what we're talking about. So just east of Elgin between Elgin and Hoffman Estates. This is where we have that nice little couplet that's developing again. Again, this is not what we want to see. So for those of you, it looks like Fox River Bluffs to the south of that. Here's 90. So this is 90 right here, just to the south of there, following right along Sutton Road. That's where we're seeing the strongest signs of rotation. This is just north of Fieldstone, Irving Park Road, uh, likely heading toward the northern side of Streamwood, and then it's likely going to continue off toward the east-northeast. So for those of you in South Barrington, this is heading in your direction, likely going to be there momentarily. 